Now this. In your heart, believe what? In my heart, I know that forevermore I'll wait for you. Talk about waiting. It took six years to get that classic Michelle Legrand song and 14 of his others into a new CD by singer-actress Melissa Errico with Legrand himself at the piano. Early reviews note its rare sense of scale. Quote, a passionate kiss backed by a 100-piece orchestra. Just one rave given to Errico's Legrand Affair CD from Ghostlight Records with familiar Legrand masterpieces including What Are You Doing the Rest of Your Life, The Windmills of Your Mind, The Summer Knows, and You Must Believe in Spring. Erico was no stranger to Legrand's legendary career. Raised on his movie music, she later co-starred in Legrand's short-lived Broadway musical Amour, earning a Tony nomination for her performance and prompting Legrand himself to propose collaboration on the new CD. To talk about the process and the final product, for your ears only, Melissa Erico is on the line now. Welcome to our show. Oh, hello. You've been a fan of Legrand forever. Your father is a pianist who played his music for you as a child. What was it like to actually meet the man and then work with him on Broadway prior to making this album? Anything that surprised you? I remember hearing about his Broadway show. I was living in California at the time, and I had done many Broadway shows already. My manager gave me a fax, and she said there's a... um, facts that came from New York. I don't know if this interests you. And it says, oh, there's, you'd have to go back to New York. There's an audition for a musical that's coming over from Paris. And it's um, called Le Passe Muraille, which means the man who walks through walls. And they're going to change it, give it an American title or something. But but anyway, it's going to be this beautiful little Broadway show. And so I was reading this facts and I looked and it said, music composed by Michel Legrand. And I where the facts started to glow in my hand. It, it was like it was like it was it was on fire. My hands were burning. And so I flew to New York, got the part, did the Broadway show. The Broadway show was a thrill to do. There was a lot of feedback during the during the Broadway run that Michelle um, should write more songs for my character. So right away we were given the great opportunity um, of having to run into the music box lobby with where there was a piano. There's a famous piano in the basement lobby. Music box is a theater. Music box theater on Broadway. And Michelle would be, oh, Melissa, Melissa, come, come, come. I want you to hear this. I did this last night. And he had an idea, you know, and he would play. And I was thinking to myself, I mean, I have every Sarah Vaughan, Barbara Streisand, Johnny Mathis, Bill Evans. I have all that stuff. I love his recordings, and I love those songs. And there I am sitting with the guy, those eyebrows, you know, the whole thing, the glasses. <laughs> I'm dying, you know. And he's playing me these songs, and, and uh, Melissa, Melissa, what do you think? And I'm, oh, I'm just going to pinch myself. So that was a great experience. And Michelle always, oh, Melissa, you love my music. We love to work together, but we should do a big record, you know. And so we made a plan to get together, and I could not believe my good luck. Um, And he did. He came to my apartment. We looked through the... um, Through his music, I admit that um, I'm not one to uh, take something like this very lightly, and I prepared for for his arrival by finding all the cuckoo people in New York who really know Michel Legrand, and he's a very prolific writer, and I found hundreds and hundreds of his songs, not just his songbooks, but songs that were left on the floor, you know, at a movie studio that were thrown out of movies, and I had songs Michelle had no idea he wrote. He's looking through this thing with me when he arrived at my house. Melissa, what is this? Oh, I don't remember this song. So we had days of going through this binder, triggering his memory, and I really think that he was touched. I think it was a moment in his life where he's a certain age and he was able to reflect on all the great things, all the Oscars, all the collaborations of his in his life, and um and he daydreamed for days with me, and that, that's in the album. If you really, if you have a chance to really sit and listen to it, Michelle and I not only chose the, the, the songs together and were just true to the songs of themselves, but Michelle's orchestrations are new. They're things he's never done before with a hundred-piece symphony, and it was a conversation not only with the simplicity of his melodies, but with his memories and his imagination and all the things that ever mattered to him, a little jazz, a little folk, a little... A little uh, classical music, and it's all in there. Well, this record represents a good chunk of your life. It took six years to make. You traveled the globe to make it. You had three children over the course of making it. I ended up getting pregnant right after we did the symphonic recording, and um, 
I don't find pregnancy that easy. Uh, in fact, uh, it was like I got hit by a truck. <laughs> it was hard for me physically, and I, I, I did not finish my vocals right away. I had a child. I, there's no way you can keep working when you have your first baby. You know, I mean, you can, but it's, it just wasn't, it wasn't um, something. I couldn't just throw the record into the world. I, ha- I just took some time away from it. And as I got more, let's say, I, was, I would be overwhelmed by children or frightened or anticipating, and then I'd think of all the songs that had anticipation in them or, or wishes or a song like Something New in My Life where people are wishing, you know, where the song wishes for something new. And I thought, oh, now I can relate to it. And then I have the child. I got more calm and more settled. I felt more mature. I felt responsible. I felt sensual and loving toward my daughter. Then all the songs started to feel different to me again. Then I had more children. I felt more mature, older, uh, richer, blessed, humbled. And the songs embraced all those thoughts. So in a weird way, I I did the record a few times because I kept thinking I hadn't given it who I kept saying who I am. Um, And I think that... um, uh, the version that's done is a, a wonderful document of the person Michelle loves and knows and collaborated with, but also the person that I'm becoming. Singer-actress Melissa Errico. Her latest release is La Grand Affair, the songs of Michelle Legrand, with Legrand himself at the piano, out from Ghostlight Records this month. The summer smooths the restless sky And lovingly she warms the sand on which you lie. 